Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is an episode of Paleo with Pros. Now, if you have watched my YouTube channel, you may know, you may very well know, the lovely Leslie. Leslie comes on and does, um, puts a bit of a gourmet twist to my usually very simple paleo recipes. Uh, and today we're going, we're giving it a bit of a Christmas flair. What are we cooking? Today we're making tamarind balls and we're not cooking anything. This That's is, right. This is no, there is no heat involved in this in this endeavour. Um, everybody needs sweets at Christmas time, even those on paleo diet. And usually at Christmas time, everybody overindulges in sugar and refined sugar. Refined sugar. <laughs> We're not going to the dark side with sugar today. <laughs> We're going to the date side. We're going to use dates. <laughs> I like that. And tamarinds and. Um, it's all going to be paleo. Do you know what I love about this? That there is no cooking involved because I think we get so busy around Christmas time. If this is something we can just quickly throw together, maybe get the kids to help and shazam, tamarind balls, paleo <laughs> tamarind Christmas balls. Let's get started. Okay. So what exactly is tamarind? Okay. Tamarind fruit comes from a pod. It's very popular in Indian, Asian, um, and West African and uh, West Indian cuisine. It's used in sauces. If you've ever eaten pad thai, that slightly sour taste is from the tamarind, the tamarind uh, dressing that they've used. Tamarind is, is sweet and sour at the same time, so have a little taste of that piece of tamarind and tell me what you think. <laughs> It should be lighting up the edges of your tongue with a sour note. Exactly. Yeah. So there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see with that sourness, you can balance it with the sweetness and mm. it'll be an explosive mm. taste in your mouth. Now, traditionally, tamarind balls would be made with, uh, the t with wet tamarind, which we've used. You can get dry tamarind or tamarind concentrate. You don't want that. You want the wet tamarind. And it's, it's easily available. You can get it on Amazon Foods. You can get it in your local Sainsbury or any of your local West African or Asian supermarkets. Um, it's not difficult to find at all. Most recipes will tell you to make tamarind balls is basically you're squishing lots of tamarind, the, the tamarind, the wet tamarind fruit with lots of refined sugar and getting it into a ball. Ooh. And then what you do is roll it in more sugar. So <laughs> <laughs> lots of sweet, lots of sour. It's mm -hmm. a great combination. See, but we can do that. We can do exactly that, mm -hmm. but it's paleo. It's, it's our paleo, paleo version. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is use, for the, for the sweetness, we're going to use fresh dates. Don't use dried dates because they're, they're a little bit too dry. I mean, once dates are plucked from, the, from their palm trees, um, they, they start drying. They start the process of drying. So the fresher you can get them, the, the better. Um, and because it's Christmas, I've uh, taken the dates we're using and they have been sitting, look at that, they're all nice and sticky because they've have been Have you sitting. mashed them a little bit? No, yeah. I've just, what I've done is taken out the pips. Okay. Remember to take the pips out. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> dates have pips in them. Okay. So basically all I've done is taken the pips, I've um, torn them in, in half and uh, thrown them into a lot of rum because it's Christmas. Oh. oh. Mmm, that smells great. <laughs> what type of rum? Well, it's dark rum. You know, you're not going to use your Bacardi white. You're going to go any dark cocktails. Rum. Any dark rum will do. Mm -hmm. You could use brandy or whiskey, but this is kind of tropical. Mm. Stick with the rum. I think it goes, it goes better. So what we're going to do is use my very faithful Kenwood chopper, this little guy. We're using that instead of the Vitamix because we're making mm. a smaller We're making portion. a smaller amount, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this little machine. It's a great stocking filler. Okay. Oh, <laughs> one for the stocking. It's only because if you're not making uh, food for a lot of people um, and you just want to do a really quick hummus or chop up garlic, mm. um, anything like that, it's quick sticks and it's small and the little pieces uh, fit, you can put them in the dishwasher. Okay. So Easy. this is a this is a really good little kitchen tool to have. I'll put a link in the description for the Kenwood. Besides tamarind and the dates, which is the, the, the body of your ball, we are going to cover those balls in either toasted coconut, good quality cocoa, or peanuts, crushed peanuts. And then if you want to, you can always add dried chilies. 
I can feel that in yeah. my mouth already. Yeah. We could put the dried chilies into the mixture, but we won't for now because we're not quite sure who's gonna who's gonna be eating it. Depends on your taste, isn't yeah. it? If you, yeah. I know a lot of girls that would be throwing that chili in there. Mm. <laughs> Where tamarind comes in a block like this, you only need because it's so um, concentrated the taste. You only need about so much, and we'll use the same amount of dates. So equal parts tamarind paste and dates. Once you've played around with this a bit, you can always add more or less of either one according to your taste. I'm about to put the chopper on, it makes a bit of a racket. Um, and basically all we want to do is squish these two different fruits together. Right, there we go. Take the blades out. Mm -hmm. And we've got this delicious, gooey mess. <laughs> There's no water added, right? No, I haven't added water because the dates were sitting in rum. That's right. If you if you if you want to serve this to people to children or to to people who don't want to have alcohol, water's fine. Yeah. And what we're going to do is take a little bit like this and make a ball. Now, these don't have to be very big because of the intensity of the flavours that you are right. using. So, you know, if you have kids who like getting messy, yeah. it's perfect for them. It really is. So you would add a little bit of water instead of the rum if needed or you definitely would need it? You, Depending on how dry your or mature your dates are, okay. you probably, you will, you will need. A little bit. You will need a little bit. These keep really well. You can freeze them. And if you don't freeze them, do you just store them in a Tupperware or do they... Yeah, keep them in the fridge. In the fridge? And how long? You can keep them outside the fridge because it's winter now, so it's quite, mm. it's quite chilly. Um, and if you can bear to keep them, you know, they should last about a week. Remember, there's loads of alcohol in, in these, so... Um, and tamarind and dates, usually you don't keep in the fridge anyway. You don't have to. Now for the fun parts. Mm -hmm. We're going to roll these in their various different okay. toppings. So... Uh, let's start with... Now that's toasted coconut, you said. This is toasted coconut. So uh, instead of just normal shredded raw coconut, why toasted? Because the wet coconuts, it absorbs the moisture from the bowl. So there and we go. It becomes a bit soggy. Yes. Okay. There you go. That's one. Let's do a chocolate one. You could even do it in like uh, shredded almonds, like the. You could do it with toasted almonds, crushed toasted almonds, but I don't think the taste of almonds is quite what we're going for here. There's those three different flavors now. If you want to do a bit of. Oh, you put the chili on before you put the you other stuff on. You don't want to have too much chili. Or what you can do is if you if you just want it like a chili batch. I mean, these are chili seeds in here, so they're pretty potent. I know. My chili and chocolate work brilliantly. Okay. So I'm going to take this one and run it in some chocolate. But if you think it needs to change the shape, shape. just remember, um, the nice thing about cocoa is it kind of just adheres to it. So remember, mm. that's the chili one. Okay. <laughs> and that's the plain one. Plain one. This would be such a fun thing to do with the children. Wouldn't it? I mean, pistachios would work as well. They look so pretty because of the colour. Or if you could be bothered, you could use freeze-dried uh, raspberries. Can you do chocolate and coconut? Yeah. Oh, which one first? Well, uh, you would do a bit of... Uh, mm -hmm. put, put it in the coconut, the chocolate. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Roll it again so it feels a little bit wet. So you basically pushing yeah. the cocoa into, into you oh, want yeah. a bit of wetness because the coconut needs something to ad okay. adhere to. Okay. So I think you're good. There, yeah, go for it. Is it sticking? Mm, I'm pushing it in, but that's Yeah, just... that looks okay. If you felt you needed the extra kick, you could of course take a ball uh -huh. right. and dunk it in some... What was that? Rum. <laughs> this is the. <laughs> this is some of the leftover rum. Oh. Okay, and then you could throw That's a little bit of chocolate. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chocolate. A little bit more. Mm. And then put it into the coconut. Dump it in some there again. Okay? Oh, look at that. 
Oh, that would be interesting, that one. What you could do is what if you wanted to have the intense contrast of salt and sweet, you could you could put some um, salt in with the peanuts. Actually, it just, that's it's it's just nice. another layer of flavour. You ready to taste it, Kenny? I am. That, that one and that one has chili on it. Okay. I think you put chili on that one too. I'm not quite sure. Or that one. <laughs> it's an adventure. You'll just Amy, have to find it. Do you know? I'm, I'd love to try that one because that was the rum. The the yeah, we threw chocolate, everything at that. The um, coconut. I'm mm. gonna stick the whole mm. thing in. Oh. Mmm. 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 What are you tasting? Mm. A bit of everything. Chili. <laughs> so there's there's the heat from the chili. Mm. You've got sourness. You've got saltiness. Mm. And you've got sweet. And you've got a slight little bit of bitterness from the cocoa as well. That is like a... It's a party in your mouth. Yeah, it's a party in my <laughs> mouth, man. <laughs> That's what Christmas is all about. <laughs> these are fantastic. I really hope you get to try these out at Christmas. Thank you, Leslie, once again. I love this because it's quick, easy, simple, something the whole family can do. If you've enjoyed this video, remember I make lots of other videos on paleo lifestyle and beauty, so please subscribe. And you can find me on social media at memore.tv. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just blithering. Makeup on set, please. Here, I'm here. <laughs>